Hey everybody, welcome back to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I'm going to show you a trick that I learned on how to use your lens flares a little bit better and how to composite them in your uh, project instead of putting them directly onto an effect or something like that. So the way we're going to do that is by creating a solid and then applying the lens flare to a solid and then adding a blending mode to uh, fix out or to get out like the, the actual color of the solid and then by doing this you're able to do things like change the color of your lens flare and stuff like that so you're not just stuck with whatever you have so I'll show you how to do that starting now so let's go and uh, we've got just a regular comp here with uh, just a logo and a background picture now I want to add a lens flare to it but your client wants a different color lens flare and um, we got After Effects here that it only gives us three native lens flares so what we're gonna do is create a black solid so let's go to new solid and we've got a black solid here use your color picker to make sure you pick all the way black or just type in 0000, 000, 000 down here in the number thing so we've got that and we're just gonna name this one lens flare and hit OK so now we've just got this black solid over top of everything and you want your solid your black solid at the top because the lens flare is going to be composited over the top or if you want it behind your logo you can put it there so I'll show you the uh, order in a second so let's go to effect um, let's go to effect I'm right clicking on these to bring up these menus and then we're gonna go to generate and then we're gonna go to lens flare now we've got our lens flare here so adjust your lens flare the way you want it I guess um, I do it after I do this so we're gonna click on our toggle switches and modes button down here at the very bottom until we get on to this uh, set of modes here where we can change the blending mode and we're gonna change it to screen and that takes out all the black because uh, that's how screen works and now we're left here with our lens flare and uh, it's basically working exactly like the uh, lens flare without it would work except for it's composited on top now let's go to something like effect color correction and then we'll go to hue and saturation and I can move this master hue or the master saturation or lightness to change how our uh, lens flare looks so let's move this and you can see now we got a green lens flare here's a blue so that's how uh, you can change the color of your lens flare we got our saturation here we can make a really saturated lens flare or a black and white lens flare and then of course the brightness which um, it doesn't actually work a lot since we're using the screen color um, we're using the screen effect or screen blending mode I keep on saying the wrong thing so the lightness is something you don't really want to mess with so that's uh, how we uh, do that now if I want it to go behind the logo we'll just drag it down underneath the logo and now the logo is over top of the lens flare so I'll show you that again here's uh, above and here's below so I mean that's how uh, that's how that works it's just a quick tip so you can use your lens flares more efficiently and uh, not have the basic lens flares that everybody will recognize in After Effects so thanks for watching this quick tip uh, hopefully it's useful to you and thanks a lot for watching have a good one everybody